Welcome on back to Baseless Claims, our casual conversational comedy podcast. My name is Tay, comma, uh, I don't like it. My name is Tori. Get your cream off my 12 inches, Thompson. <laughs> my name <laughs> My name is Tyler. I'll put my cream wherever I damn well please, you son of a bitch. Mathisa. <laughs> Potentially the greatest, like, opener to the show I think I've heard in a while. Oh, my God. Can you please I was, elaborate? Yeah, I visited America's favorite delicatessen. And the Subway. As I, <laughs> as, it, yes, thank you, Subway. I didn't think I needed to say it, but... Um, I guess we should get it out there for our non-American listeners. Subway is the best uh, place in the world. And I stepped up to their uh, counter and I spoke with the sandwich artist and <laughs> consulted the, with them. Consulted. You didn't just be, I, you I consulted know. with the sandwich artist uh, to commission my piece. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say commission. Yeah. <laughs> we were all right there. <laughs> and you commissioned, your, now, commissioned your artwork from them. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to art, I am a minimalist, okay? <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I just like the bread, some cheese, no, 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 and that's no. it. No, no, no. It's, it's the Italian bread. It's the turkey. It's yep. the American cheese. Yep. There is I a double up on the meat. There's one more meat on there. Salami? Salami. Nailed it. Turkey, really? salami, and American cheese on white bread. Yep. That's what my Subway order is. Uh, and I got that. We, get, You know, the first half of the counter when you get there is the meats and stuff like that and meats and cheeses. And then they go to, like, the toppings and condiments half. Now, I make it really easy for them. We get to that half. They go, what else? And I say, close that bitch up. Nothing else on there. And the lady just kind of slides it down to where she's going to start, like, wrapping the paper around it. But she noticed that there was this massive pile is the only word I can use a pile of mayonnaise that was there from the previous sandwich they had made that guy wanted extra mayo oh, a lot by the sound of it a lot too much it, it they, was gross it, uh, I, I heard it, it gush when they fucking folded it close. Uh, no, no 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 uh, you're not gush. done I said <laughs> more mayo I'll I tell hear it when I walk away <laughs> <laughs> Now, I'm the patron of this fine piece you're crafting here, and I'll tell you when there's enough mail on it. He's, like, the only thing he could have done, like, with the amount of lubricant on there was use it as a pocket pussy when he got home. So that massive pile of mayonnaise is sitting there, and she kind of goes to start to roll my sandwich up in the paper, stops, uses her gloved hand oh, to, no. to smear it off into like the the built-in trash cans there. She uses it to like slide the thing of mayo in there and then like looks at her hand and then uses that hand no. to oh. grab my what? sandwich and wrap it up in the paper. That's like it's that's like borderline diabolical. Yeah. Tori, yeah. She was doing you a favor because a dry sandwich feels like a crime against nature in itself. This is but true. But it's it's it, the the process of that just feels like it honestly feels like she shot your dog. Like that's what <laughs> yes. It, like to to look at a pile of trash. Let's just there's yeah. no other word for it. When it's on the counter, it's trash like that. Mm, yep. And to use your fucking hand to just not even a paper towel, right. like a napkin, One anything of the other than your goddamn hand. Yeah. And just like wipe it to smear it into the open lid garbage is, it, it, I, I don't think it's that crazy. person a I don't think that person is fit to be a sandwich mm -hmm. artist at Subway. No. I don't think they're fit for at that point any other job this great nation has to offer. Put them down, honestly. <laughs> like yeah. See, there's I'm no gonna, other option. I'm gonna try and save this person's character. Were they? Did they look regretful or guilty at all after the fact? No. They wrapped my sandwich with confidence. Ooh. We need punishments. Well, <laughs> I was going to say what could have happened was they were in a flow state, just like, I got to get through this shift at work just so I can go home and get high and play Call of Duty. And they saw that. First off, they're a sandwich artist. They're high at work. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Trying to save their character. Damn. Yep. 
Um, so they did the thing, wrapped your sandwich up, went through the entire transaction, and only after you left the establishment did it like hit them what they just did. And they have to like as, sit in the back. As they're of the- laying in bed about to fall asleep. <laughs> it's just bing. Oh my and god. They, and they just he didn't there, want like- any condiments on there. And I grabbed his I grabbed his sandwich with my my mayo covered hand. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm worse than Hitler. <laughs> I'll hey, if we're looking at like raw scale of what's worse, I'm like unimaginable genocide versus fucking up Tory sandwich. I don't want to fuck up Tory sandwich, okay? That's, oh, fuck. He was a 20s white guy, too. He's, there's a 90% chance he's going to podcast about this. <laughs> there's, a, there's a podcast in my, in my future. But Wait, hold on. Is that how we all keep each other accountable, is just talking shit to each other on our podcasts? <laughs> it's how the world needs to keep itself. There's no more shame in the world, you know? Podcasts reintroduce that a little bit. Imagine the drama between two podcasts, like ours and then like some like mom blog podcast because of some interaction we had in the real world, like crossing Mm -hmm. over into our shows. That's fucking bonkers to think about. Uh, Tay, you're trying to save this person's character and raw numbers game right here. I don't think they gave it a second thought. Yeah. I don't think the the more like the reason I even attempted to save this person's character is because I like giving people the benefit of the doubt. But once I really peel back the layers and look at the law of large numbers, I realize it's a fool's gambit. (laughs) Tay, would you ever in your entire life Uh look at something you spilled on the counter and be like, I know just the tool to clean this up (laughs) and raw hand that? spill you made like are you know you slice up some tomatoes for dinner right and you're like well better put these in the garbage and you smash them into liquid paste and then throw them in the garbage is that what you do no of course not. no exactly you don't do that because you're a human being in a functional society and also what at what point does do you go oh I noticed that I'm clocking the big pile of mayonnaise I'll get it after I wrap this sweet boy sandwich okay question yeah would you have had respect for this sandwich artist if they took their glove (laughs) wiped their finger in it fucking domed that bitch into their mouth replaced their glove with a new one and kept rolling your sandwich (laughs) yeah 100 percent. yeah because at least it would have been like i mean you're at a (laughs) you're at a subway so there's a certain level of um like unexpected unexplainable behavior that's gonna happen it it is the most cursed food establishment i will give you that yeah there there's there's a fucking disgusting vibe that goes on in every subway it's just like the music is either too loud or it's not playing at all and you're <laughs> yeah It was dead quiet when I walked in. See, the music is either way too fucking loud or it's dead quiet. And you're wondering, this can't, this has got to be like a men in black situation. Like that body was like taken over by some, by some extraterrestrial creature because there's no fucking shot in hell that this person is just standing in the subway in dead silence. No way. My, my least favorite memories of like fast food have all been subways that are in the middle of nowhere off of, like, a highway, like a highway overpass or whatever, right? At, like, a rest stop area. Yeah, mm-hmm. where the gas station subways. Yeah, like, where there are no people who could possibly live within that subway within, like, a 20-minute drive. Yeah, they're like, well, but, like, look, a job's a job. I better drive 45 minutes so that I can make six and a half dollars an hour. No, they spawn. They spawn at that subway. They didn't yeah. exist before <laughs> the subway went in. They spawn. They live for subway. They die with subway. Yeah, they're. Uh, uh, you know, you know the like fuck. What is that called? Like the empty internet theory, where we're just interacting with a million fucking bots and nothing mm-hmm. is real online. No, yeah. no, no. That's real in subway. It's not empty internet. It's like empty world. Like everyone you see in a subway, that's not a real person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like you enter the subway so that the simulation can do a software update. Yes. 
Oh, yeah, nothing that's exists like, outside okay. of that. Nothing exists inside of that. It's just this weird, like... Would you say it's a... A liminal space? space? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When you start craving Subway is when you're... It's like your computer telling you, like, uh, your mouse is getting a little slow. Like, let's turn the Bluetooth off and on again. Mm-hmm. That's what the craving is for Subway. I think it must be something like that. You got to turn Wi-Fi on and off in your brain, and then you go to the subway, digest the subway, and then you kind of shut down for like half a second so the simulation can reboot itself in your eyes. Can that be any other restaurant than Subway? Because I haven't been inside a Subway in like five, ten years. That's one that's crazy. But, but, okay, listen to this, though, because when I – I don't eat Subway very often at all. But then after years of not having it, all of a sudden I'll want to eat Subway twice a week for about two weeks, maybe three weeks. And then I won't touch it again for another like two years. Exactly. You're going through a system update. It's, yeah, exactly. I, I have not had that craving ever. Well, maybe you need to, like, take a good hard look at yourself and think about, like, maybe I need to, like, manually override and do, like, a software update. Because, Tay, you might be bugged. You might have some bugs. <laughs> My software do be dog shit. I will admit that. Yeah, like, <laughs> your your current operating system might be fucked. Like, oh, no, it's, it, it's fucking riddled with awful shit. <laughs> yeah. Lennox. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's you're running like Windows Vista, okay? It's fu- <laughs> it's fucking dog shit, Tay. You got you need an update, which like you might have to force reboot yourself. Go to a subway, even if that you're not craving it. Problem. Go you to a to subway. Eat anything at a subway? Yes, you have to yeah. go there and order well, a sandwich. Okay, I, you know what? Subway not bad. No, it's pretty bad. It isn't bad, and, it's and not also bad. people people aren't gonna like this one. Okay, it's pretty bad. I think Subways smell good inside. Mm. Well, it's mm-hmm. the bread. The bread smells good. Yeah, I walk in, I'm like, mm. Yeah, Subway. I think I would. You know, six inches, not for me. Let's do a full foot long. Nope. Yeah, you want the, will... if you're going there, you want the full Monty. You want to get, you want that, you want the Subway yeah. experience. Oh, fre- oh, sorry, what's that? A, a fresh baked chocolate chip cookie? Yeah, two, please. Two yeah, you say that, and until they tell fucking, you the grand total. shut up. They are never fresh baked. They have been sitting in that little plastic container by the fucking thing for like four weeks. <laughs> yeah, the subway by my house, stale as fuck. The subway that this shit happened at, that those were baked fresh that day. That's crazy. I've never once, I've never once described a subway as remotely fresh or warm. Hey, you know what? That's so fucked up because their tagline is literally "eat fresh." Yeah, it's <laughs> and never you are once describing been. that you have never felt fresh there. <laughs> yeah, I've never once felt fresh there. But I will agree, Subway is good until no. you get to the register and they're and you're like, okay, yep, I got a sandwich, and they're like, yeah, that's nineteen dollars, and you're like, <laughs> for a for this for this. You've got to be Tyler, fucking. Try me. getting something that's got two meats on it. Oh, and it's a numbered item. Like I don't go a number five. Hold the spinach or whatever. Like no one has ever gone to Subway though and said a number though. You just say the protein because like if anyone went to a Subway and said the number, I'd been I would be like you're here too much. We got to put you in a mental institution because clearly your software is not stable and like the Subway you keep getting is not correcting the problem. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. The drivers aren't downloading or, or something. I don't know how PCs work. But that did lead me to, I, I got to thinking, I was, I, that happened. And I thought to myself, boy, howdy, do I got something for the podcast. And then I was like, shit, when I tell them about my Subway order and how I get to the toppings and condiments and I say, no, thank you on all of it. Uh, you, I knew you guys were going to give me shit about it. And it got me thinking about things that are insanely popular, very commonplace. It's kind of just a universal that you just cannot get down with. And one of them for me is condiments and toppings. I just don't like them. A dry sandwich is fine. I've got a beverage. 
That see, that's fucked. That's see, that's though. It's just that's not the, the same the, liquid. The that's not the same. The beverage is to counteract the chips you have with your sandwich. It's Those not are, the that's same a completely purpose. Completely different part of the algorithm. But but, but the sandwich is the self-contained thing that has to have all things. But here's the thing: mayonnaise is really not good. It's it's actually quite disgusting. Well, no, here's the thing: they have other thing, options. They a have thin other. They coat have coat of mayo over the top of some white bread. In combination with your ham and cheese, it's perfect. It can't be beat. I will agree. It can't be beat. But that's why they have, they have, I know they have, I know there's like 16 fucking sauces at that bitch. You know, they got like True. the oil and there vinegar. Are way too many. I, not one of them sounds good to me. Not one. That not a not one. one of them sounds good. Not one of them. Even if I did think it's like, oh, this is okay. Not one of them would make me enjoy the sandwich more. To be fair, there are some stinkers on there. Um, I'm not going to put fucking ranch on my ham and cheese sandwich. I'm that's certainly psychotic. not doing balsamic. Like, that's way too much. Mm-hmm. Too rich for my blood. No, thank you. <laughs> Oil and vinegar, I can get. Not for me, But it's though. much better at, it's much, much better at, like, a Jersey Mike's. Like yeah. That, like, you get that shit you know, Mike's way, you know, like, when you give them a <laughs> wink. Better sandwich shops. <laughs> we don't talk about other sandwich shops on this, but... So that's what that's one of the things for me that I just I'm can't sick get of you, with. Dad. I want to have other sandwiches. <laughs> I want to go to other sandwiches. I want to experience the world. I know there's more sandwiches out there. We've been a sandwich family for my father and his father's father and his father's father. You will go to Subway. And I don't like want to go to Subway anymore, Dad. I hate it. I hate Subway. <laughs> as long as it's not Firehouse, that shit's gross. Okay, yeah, yeah. I don't you think know I've what? Ever been. That's fine. You're not missing much. So what are things that are like the universal, the wildly popular, the the thing that you just can't get down with? And you know you're you know you're the minority there and you just have to live with that. So it's not the most popular thing in the world, but it is one thing I just do not fucking get. There's jigsaw puzzles. Okay. I like doing puzzles. Yeah. Sure. Well, no. But like there's, specifically there's a, Jigsaw, because you like logic puzzles. Yes. yes, logic puzzles. You like, like Baba is You and Portal and stuff. Yeah, and like Rubik's Cubes and shit like that. Those I get. Puzzles are fine. Jigsaw puzzles specifically, I yeah. just do not get. Like, oh, honey, I'm with you on let's that one. Sit, let's sit in complete silence for three hours and try to get these little, little doodads to where they need to go. Not for me. Today is the day that I realized a jigsaw puzzle is not an original creation of the Saw franchise. Yeah, no. Uh, it is, in fact, the like picture puzzles. Like that's yeah. what that's yeah. the proper name. Yeah. That's a jigsaw puzzle. Also, you at, know, at, <laughs> like if you get a jigsaw puzzle for the picture, why do you subject yourself to building it? Oh, because it feels better at the end. Who cares? <laughs> Just well, get a look, picture now this picture's of got lines thing. all over it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's, it's like printing right? out like, intentionally a low quality version of a photo. <laughs> yeah, I I am right there with you, Tay, because like I've spent the last two weeks every day before I go to bed playing through the Talos Principle too. I love a good puzzle. Yeah. My girlfriend loves jigsaw puzzles. Has them out all the time on our coffee table. Not. I can't do it. I don't mm-hmm. care. I get bored. <laughs> it's not fun. It's not rewarding. Yeah, because like in, in video game puzzles or like a Rubik's Cube or something, right? There's feedback and like interactivity. Sound go ding, brain have dopamine. Yeah, there's interactivity with the puzzle. With a jigsaw puzzle, it's literally, oh, these two pieces snapped together. Neat. But it's so the, you're saying the puzzle just simply isn't rewarding enough. You need, you know, that's what's wrong with this generation. I oh feel like it's God. just like they just want trophies for everything. You know, this whole fucking PC culture bullshit where everyone wants a fucking trophy for, oh, you found the corner piece. I think they're called achievements mm-hmm. on Xbox and PC, but sorry. Yeah. And that's stupid. They're called trophies and everyone knows it. Everyone knows. Like, I will say Xbox has the more satisfying boop, boop. And then the thing like comes in. It's got the better sound, but let's. It's called a trophy, okay? We're not an achievement. I mean, that sounds stupid. I think since Xbox did it first, they get the rights to the an it, achievement. Though an achievement's a real thing. Like I passed my spelling test. Not oh That's cool, not I got to this. You were in the third grade, and if you couldn't do it, they were gonna flunk you. <laughs> But yeah, it's like, oh, an achievement's like I graduated, not like, oh, sweet, I, 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 
I pressed X enough. That's see, that's you know. I talked to the one NPC who gave me the silly item. Yeah, exactly. That's come on. That's not an achievement. Um, I don't know. I guess something that's like popular with other people that like I, that I just can't I get behind. <laughs> I already know this you, is going to okay, suck. We've done this show for long enough <laughs> to where you can enter a bit with a certain cadence in your voice and you're just like, yeah, no, I'm going to play it off like I'm just bringing it up like it's no big deal. And I don't know. I guess the absolute worst shit imaginable. Off the top of my head, like something that everyone is like really popular with and like I just don't get is probably like the human desire for materialistic items. I guess I'm just kind of like above that like the human desire or wanting things I hope you can um, hear our eye rolls by the way I guess it's just like I don't get needing things when like life itself is enough of the reward you know like breathing in fresh air okay <laughs> things sure. like that you know sure. like the the icy chill of a frosty morning you know just like or, the little things hey Tyler the icy chill of a frosty full stop. Yum, that, yum. Yes, Those that's are pretty good. good. Those are the amazing. The strawberry one was pretty good. I don't think I had uh, the strawberry one. Everyone knows it's a concrete mixer that would be Those far superior to the Those frosty. Okay. But, Tyler, Tyler, what's your actual thing? No, no, no. That is his actual thing. But Tyler, what is what is the 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 shirt on your body worth right now? I want you to tell me full uh, stop. Probably like... 20 cents to a Chinese kid in a factory? No, 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 no. How much did you pay for it? About 20 cents to some Chinese kid I saw in a factory. <laughs> <laughs> they said it was extremely racist of me to assume he worked at a factory, and I said, well, does he? And then they gave me the shirt. <laughs> so, yeah, guess, guess something like that, or maybe, I don't know, processed <laughs> foods. <laughs> <laughs> finish it without a, without breaking your straight face. I don't know. Maybe like processed foods. I guess I just don't get it. Like I treat my body like a temple and like oh can't even God. imagine putting Subway in it. Like maybe for you and like you people, but not me, you know? Oh, you people. Who... I guess I just really take a stand against homophobia. I guess like, <laughs> I guess I'm just not into the idea of like, money itself like i think society would just be so much better if we all just you know gave with our heart and soul instead of our wallets no, with like our time not. you know okay so do you have a real one uh like um i don't know how popular this is um raw concept but they must be because they get millions of views right okay recipe videos on facebook i have Never fucking seen one that looked uh -huh. even remotely desirable. Are you talking you, about like the top down hands only? Like, yeah, 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 of, yeah, 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 yeah. Where they fucking mm -hmm. load that shit with cheese and then deep fry it twice, and they're like, "This is oh a this is a pizza burger," and then they oh, like, "Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. fuck that stuff." I, yeah. Like, the, I have never seen one one time, and I it's got like three and a half million shares, right? And I'm like, there is no fucking way any of you are making... Please tell me. Please, for the love of God. None of you are making this, right? Like, that's so, insane. Are you talking the more, like, non... Like, <laughs> I was going to say non he's, he's not talking binging with Babish and Joshua <laughs> yeah, Weissman. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. That, no. like, uh, like if you pro see... home cooks. Like, he's talking, he's talking tasty top-down where they make recipes that no one should have. It's like, oh, so you take a, like a... A cake pan and you put a full stick of cream cheese and a full stick of Velveeta and then you dump a bunch of dry pasta and then you put more cheese over the top and bake it at 350 for seven and a half hours. Yeah, that that's the kind of shit. Here's that we're a McDonald's about. hack where yeah. I ordered seven Big Macs, put them in a Tupperware container, and then ground them up so it looked unimaginable <laughs> to the human eye. It kind of like <laughs> It kind of looks like censorship. So it looked like a crime against nature. <laughs> yeah, it kind literally because it was <laughs> like God wouldn't allow my eyes to perceive it. It censored it, and then when I <laughs> turned it into a void, <laughs> and then I dumped Velveeta on top of that, <laughs> and like some onion crisps, and baked it, and then I put McChickens on top of that, and I ate it. Have you all tried this McDonald's hack? And it's like. What? The people what? yearn is that... for what was that fucking channel? Epic Meal Time? Epic Meal Time. Yeah. yeah. The children yearn for Epic Meal Time. 
it was funny when they did it because they were doing it as a joke, but this these people are doing it for real and it's mm-hmm. fucked up. Hey, gang, just loading something with cheese doesn't make it good. Tori, you didn't put nearly enough of like a quotation mark on these people. The people doing that are not people. They are bugs in the system <laughs> that are trying to that are trying to like wipe out our memories before we can get to the subway. Yeah, because it's for people like, I don't know, it's like your great aunt is going to watch that and be like, oh my God, like. Like, there's no way, there's no way you're well, making no, no, no. That. that. That's the thing. They just like it. They never engage with it after that, though. Like, there's been. That's all the, but that's how they keep getting away with it. Yeah, I think there's maybe been like four or five recipes I actually saved, and I've made one of them. Just one. And it was it was an atrocity. It was a, it was a. <laughs> It was a it was a tower of Babel that God knocked over simply because no, he it, it could. was a real it was a real recipe for like knockoff chicken gnocchi soup from Olive Garden. It was very okay, yummy. yeah, not like the yeah. I'm talking specifically like yeah. the twice fried like. Oh. I was talking the wild like, hey, what if we took 19 pieces of cheese, put them together, uh, and then we crushed up some dry ramen and coated this tall sandwich in the ramen, and then we coated it in flaming hot dust, and then we deep fried it. And then covered it in fucking more cheese. They're doing a crime against humanity and then being like, y'all ever tried this? And it's like, no, I haven't because I value life itself. I don't want to get tried in the hag. No, I don't think I will try that. They're making the most fucked up thing you've ever seen. And then they're saying like and share. How their brain even thinks of this recipe? Like, imagine it's what- nothing. All it has to get is views. It doesn't matter if people make it. It has Everyone- no- Everyone in the Midwest is horny for a block of cream cheese. So that's where your like your like base is going to come from. You just drop a block of cream cheese in it and the entire Midwest will like that video. I I I like there's a part of me that feels dirty but I know I don't even lie to me. I know we all feel this where it's like if they stopped at step 3 in the video, you're like, "Hey, that sounds pretty fucking good." But then they keep, then they have their 15 more steps where you're like, no, stop, no, no, stop, no, 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 no. Step one will be like, cut up carrots and onions. You're like, all right, I'm down with that. Step two is like, toss them in a pan with cooked chicken. You're like, all right, cool. Step three is like an entire block of cream cheese. And you're like, all right, kind of losing the plot here. Step four is like, add in dry pasta noodles and three cups of chicken broth. You're like, okay, hold on. Yeah, they're like (laughs) 19 jars of pickled, uh, like peppers or something like that. Like pickled red onions. Yeah, peppercini. That's the word I couldn't come up with. You want to take another pass at it? So Tyler can put it it in? Nah. (laughs) Do you want me to do another pass, Tyler? No, no, you're fine. I saw I saw one today that was like uh th- instead of the bun, you put on the the bun is an onion. It's a whole a bun- onion. A bunion? <laughs> <laughs> the bun is a whole fucking yellow onion. And I'm like, and then so in like between you, like you cut it in half, and then that the round the half spheres are the Well, you like it's more of like it's more of like a you know, the circular, because you can't eat the onion butt. That would be fucking insane. <laughs> sure. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, you're right. If it's just the disc, then it's very sane and it normal. Was, it was disc of onion, then, like, white cheddar cheese, then cheddar cheese, then burger, then more cheddar cheese, more cheddar cheese, pepper jack cheese, another burger, cheddar cheese, white cheddar cheese, onion. And I'm like, the heartburn that I would get from what you've just created. Yeah, I think mm-hmm. I think if you took a full cross-sectional bite of that, Tyler, you would simply pass away. It, but it, imagine <laughs> if we put their brains to, like, something worthy <laughs> of a task. Yeah, like, imagine if we, like, put the people who are coming up with those recipes in, like, a physics department. We'd be on the moon again. Right, right. This second, we'd have like the Star Trek style of transportation, where we just get beamed to the moon in an instant. Again, if they were doing something productive for society. <laughs> okay, subtle. So, I like that one. <clears throat> another thing that is, I think, in- incredibly popular that I, my whole life, have never gotten down with, amusement parks. That's a fucked up one. See, that's a yeah, good that's one. Yeah, that's a little fucked up. I just because like, I don't I think don't, they're fun. I don't like them. 
that much We're, either. But do I, I, I'm sorry. Do I share a podcast do. with two people incapable of feeling joy? What is going on here? <laughs> they're not fun. They're not. They're not fun. They don't feel. I don't feel safe. I think pre-COVID, I would have been way more on board with going to a, an amusement park. Post-COVID, not as much fun. Baby. Yeah. Get get the get the germs that they're good for you. <laughs> I, I'm gonna... It has nothing to do with the germs. It's just like. Uh, do I do I really want to go a hundred feet in the air upside down on this like this thing that's run by a sixteen year old? Like I just it, it's not fun. It they hurt. They make you feel nauseous. They're like I, it's so. I so are you are you more so talking about roller coasters or amusement parks? Well, like like amusement parks, like that have ri- there's all kinds of rides there. So are you also not a fan of the park carnival itself? games? You know, like carnival yeah. games That's why and I like said the whole package. Park. Okay, okay. I didn't. I just wanted to clarify because you it's were not just a roller co- like about roller stuff. coasters. I don't like, but also the teacups, uh, scramblers, power tower, any of I, it. I, mm-hmm. See, that is that like for a podcast. Yes, Tori, you, you you got a good one there. But like a part of my like a part of my like psyche almost feels like insulted at the idea of like well this was invented for fun why aren't you having fun (laughs) yeah i feel that way i wish i liked them yeah no i am in the same boat like i would love to ride a roller coaster and feel joy off of that but like eh, not really my thing Uh, yeah i feel like i got maybe three more years left in my body where it feels like okay because like i went i was on uh uh a swing set earlier this summer um Mm -hmm. No fucking kids on the swing set during the summer either. So I was like, yeah. what was the point of me like stalking this out if there's no kids here? But that's a different uh, yeah. story. Uh, so I'm on the swing set and then I got a little too high. And then like I kind of was like even with the top bar and then like swinging down. And then I felt my stomach do that like droppy thing. And I was like, uh-huh. that doesn't feel as good as it used to. Uh-huh. Mm. I so I think I got like three more years left in me to enjoy like roller coasters and rides and i gotta hit those hard because after that timer's up it's like i'm gonna be like full like oh nope can't nope can't do that got a trick hip can't do it is gonna be very divisive on this topic tori do you still like go-karts at amusement parks tori's never liked go-karts yeah, I mean, I like go karts in concept, but I'm <laughs> I. Um, he steps in them, and then he's like, "These are fast." I'm, I'm, I've always been a pretty cautious person. I think I don't. I'm pretty risk averse when it comes to bodily harm. <laughs> I, like, I, I think it was just funny, like seeing Tori in a go kart, knowing that he's pushing the pedal down at like fifty percent of what it can go to. <laughs> like, I Tori's felt like, like I was going real hard, but you you had no. You have no uh, fear for your life. Oh, yeah. And, like, I, I like to imagine Tori is, like, <laughs> like reaching for, like, turn signals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm doing, like, the, the bike hand signals because I don't have... <laughs> In a go-kart. He's, like, stopping and looking both ways. <laughs> like, yeah. oh, do a, does a pedestrian want to cross here? I'm, like, <laughs> waving you on. <laughs> I think I might be too scared for bumper boats, honestly. Oh, wow. Those ones suck because you can get wet. And for some reason, every amusement park on planet Earth, even though they know we have phones in our pocket now, they're still like, no, you got to keep all devices on you. What? Bro, I see the locker. Let me put this somewhere. And they're like, Mm -hmm. sorry, can't do that. But like. I know. What are you supposed to do with yeah, it? Yeah, what are you supposed to do? That sucks. That's why water rides suck now, because everyone's yeah. got a cell phone and they don't let you put it anywhere. Well, aren't, aren't motor phones getting water resistant at the very least? Let That's bullshit lie, and we all know it. Oh, okay. <laughs> nah, Tyler, me and uh, our phone is good, I think, water resistant down to 15 meters. So we're you're good if you just get I, a little, little bump of water on there. There's no part of me that wants to test that theory. Like, it's like $1,000 for this phone. Like, I do not want to test how water-resistant it is. Like, I'll let a YouTube channel do that. Not for me. (laughs) I have another one that I want to bring up that is going to sound so fucked up and mean, but I think you two will both agree with me. 
we volunteering. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 There right. we go, Tay. All right. There we go. I Finally, we got you. You're canceled. <laughs> You're can- ah! I Finally. Barely have enough time for my own goddamn self. I am so sorry if I seem like a horrible person for not wanting to volunteer and take time for my own goddamn self. Yeah, they did it to themselves too. Like okay, I'm happy for I'm people saying. that are at that point on uh, Maslow's hierarchy of needs, but I'm not there yet. And hey, sometimes, sometimes when the phrase uh, "I don't have time" is uttered, it doesn't just mean that I'm like my schedule is booked every minute. Sometimes it means that my brain needs to rest. Okay, mm-hmm. so sorry, ladle your own soup. L- ladle your own fucking soup. It's a self serve kind of thing. I don't need to deliver it with a smile. Okay. Get over I it. I immediately regret bringing this up. <laughs> no, no, it's fucking real. It's like, oh, oh, um, yeah, I have all of this. I think it was more irritating in like high school, probably, yes. because like people were doing it specifically to look good on like university applications. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. And like, oh, I'm gonna go volunteer at that. And you just look at them like, go fuck yourself. Yeah. You do not. No, you and I both feel the same. You are not genuinely interested in like, oh, I guess. Okay, that's I guess what I was just, trying to get at was people, people who are genuinely interested in volunteering and make that their whole thing. That's it's, stinky. It's a lie. It's a fucking lie they're telling themselves and they won't confront it. And here's the thing. I believe that they believe it. I fully believe that they believe it. But like, I am so interested in like fucking dark knighting them where I'm the Joker and I'm like, see Batman, I can get you to my level. I can do it. Like, (laughs) come on, I'm going to drag you down here with the rest of us. I'll make you do a surveillance state, Batman. Like (laughs) I, I want so badly to bring them down with the rest of us. Like you think you're so fucking high and mighty. It's Uh -uh. even like tripled when it's people who do, what I call shitty volunteering, which is like they go with some organization that like it has it has a, definitely has like some type of hidden agenda, and they go like to Africa or something. You want and a it house? Just becomes a a photo like a publicity thing. To like, oh wow, I guess I haven't. I, I guess I just had to post every picture I took of me helping people in Africa on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Oh, and I, you know we we helped them build a monastery. And everything. We, like, well, no, we helped them build. We actually went there and we built a well and a Christian church and forced the entire school to be Christian, even though they're not. But yeah, like it was like really rewarding for me. It's 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 when you want to. Yeah, it's the level of like you post. It's OK to post it. It's OK. We all post okay. things online. Mm-hmm. You're doing it a little too much. You're a little heavy handed with your posting where it's like, hey, check this out. And it's like. That's not like a kickflip. You didn't do anything that cool. Yeah. Like, yeah. I have way more respect for people who quietly volunteer. Yes. 100%. Just because they acts of service give them esteem. You know, that's yes. what I can get down with that. What I can't get down mm-hmm. with is the public publicized nature of it. Mm-hmm. That's why I volunteer is because it gets me off like privately. Oh, like, yeah, it gets me yeah. off, you know, whatever, in a way that nothing else will ever strokes your goat, dude. Exactly. So, that's a. That's another thing that I think is like really popular that I just can't get behind is like masturbation. Like, do you just not want to get to heaven? Like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> See the rest of you in hell. I know y'all are talking about masturbating way too much. Tyler, not me. What? What? I'm never stroking my shit, okay? Because I want to make it to the good place. Never stroke your shit. Not once I've in ne- your life. Well, I did, and then I, I did, uh, you ever see Da Vinci Code? <laughs> Immediately your house got struck by lightning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my house got struck by lightning because I thought, I didn't even do it. I was laying in bed at 2 a.m., and I thought about stroking my shit, and then my house got <laughs> struck by lightning. And I was like, nope, won't do that. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. No way. For everyone listening, this is a real story. This is yeah. not a bit. <laughs> Thought about touching myself. House got struck by lightning. Not doing that again. And you would, hey. You got a new PS3 out of it, though. Hey, your house got struck by lightning. The moment you thought about masturbating, you'd feel the same way. Mm-hmm. You'd feel the exact same way. Metaphorically speaking, all of our homes have been struck by lightning at the thought of 
premarital ejaculation. Metaphorically, what? Tori and I's homes, our proverbial homes, have been struck by lightning because, you know, our parents are divorced. So yeah. our houses burned down when they could have been yeah. complete. Our whole things. lives were struck by emotional lightning. And yeah. Tay is the 1% who's just, you know, in her fucking mansion with her with her married parents being like, oh, oh, y- y- would you like together parents? Sorry, sorry, that's not on the menu for you. I'm not handing this out. Can Fuck I tell yourself. you another thing that, that I don't like? Yeah. Horror movies. I vibe with that. There's like one in 20 horror movies that are worth watching. Thank you. They're just, one, I, d- I inherently don't find being scared or anxious to be a fun or rewarding emotion to go through. And two, and this is an even bigger factor, most of them suck so bad. Oh, yeah, no, quality-wise, they suck shit. The, it, it's a very low hit rate. For, but for it, every 30 fucking, what was the new Bloomhouse one, Night Swim? For every 30 Night Swims, there's one Midsummer. I think it goes hand in hand also with you not liking amusement parks. Like, I think it's the same part of your brain that doesn't like. That's probably true. It's the, it's the same. I think it's the same part of your brain. That's like, I don't like that feeling that I don't want to experience that feeling in any capacity, even if I know it's fake. And yeah, there's a lot of fucking stinkers out there. You get a lot of, you get a lot of them that are just like, Oh my God, the killer is using FaceTime to kill all of us. It's in our phones. <laughs> that was a real movie. And then the director walks on the screen at the end and is like, hey, I don't know if y'all understood this. I don't know if I wasn't heavy handed enough, but the metaphor here is that our phones are killing us. So just think about that for a second, maybe. The killer this whole time was actually just capitalism. What movie was that? A lot, a lot of horror movies are like, was I don't know like? if y'all know this, but like, Modern, your phone and social media are the real killers. It was some. It was something like one new friend request or some dumb shit like that. Doesn't matter. But I think I think there's another part of it, like another layer, which is that a lot of horror movies have to do with uh, g- ghosts and ghouls and poltergeists and the like, right? Spooks and, and scares. And, and, <laughs> and spooks and scares uh, and uh, God. A lot of them have to do with religion, right? They're, they're spiritually based in like the devil is winning or something like that. And I don't believe in anything like supernatural at all. So I'm not scared. Of, I don't believe ghosts exist. I don't believe we have souls. I don't believe in a God. I don't believe in a devil. I don't believe in that stuff. So it's kind of just like, what are we doing here? Like, I can think it's kind of interesting as a historical thing, but not as like a real threat. Yeah, but I also don't think it's trying to communicate a lot of times like a real threat. I think a lot of times it's just like engaging in like, you know, what if the fictional devil here was like real? And what if it ate people or some shit like that? I yeah. Feel, like, I, I, I don't I think, like, I don't think ever, I don't think a lot of horror movies are going real spiritual where they're like, no, 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 I'm trying to convert you to Catholicism here. No, but a lot of people do believe in ghosts. Like a, a ton of people. I yeah, mean, probably most people believe in ghosts. So that is a, that is a real threat of like, I'm kind of living through this by watching this movie, but now I'm going to be kind of on edge because what if a ghost is in my house? Like, I don't have that fear because I don't believe in a ghost. So. I don't know. I think that's like a secondary level of like fun anxiety that some people live in. Yeah. I think the solution here is we need to like completely over the course of maybe six or so years gaslight you into slowly believing in ghosts where you've de- yeah. you develop such an intense fear of them uh, that you are then afraid to enter certain areas of your house. Sure. I can't even watch Danny Phantom by the end. <laughs> exactly it's too much i have i have a, i have a i think i have a very controversial one here oh boy i think i have a very controversial one here and let me explain it oh god or actually i'll let you get out your fun goofs before i explain it yeah probably probably for the best because we're gonna have some words eating at restaurants okay you <laughs> garbage <laughs> You actual piece of garbage. <clears throat> yeah, I get it. Oh, it's so expensive. I can make that at home. You're going to the wrong restaurants. Now, it's not 
it's not out of the belief that I can make it better or anything. It's that I think I view it so functionally. Like I understand all the component pieces there. But when I sit down at a restaurant and I, I think I'm just like sitting there and I'm like, well, this feels a little dumb because it's like, like the way people engage with like going out to eat on like dates and things, like I think they're getting much greater satisfaction out of it than I am where I am just like sitting there and I'm like, I just got caloric intake. Like the, I don't care about like, Oh, the ambiance of this place or whatever, where you're like, Oh, you're sitting somewhere where in like, they've designed it really nicely. I'm like that, that, that gives me nothing. I get it. They've done a nice job. I can see they've done a nice job here. Gives me nothing. They bring out like a $15 cocktail menu. And I'm like, uh, uh-uh, uh, no fucking way. Like would you? none of it makes sense to me. Is it because in order to enjoy that space, you have to spend money? I, I mean, money is definitely a component of it where I'm just like, fuck, man, that's crazy. Fucking yeah, there's this much money of- for this. Because like, here's the thing is I'm talking specifically about like going out to like a nicer place. Like I'm not against like where it's like it's 7 p.m. And I'm like, fuck. I don't have these three fucking ingredients. Let's just go to the Korean place down the road, right? Like, that's different than, like, oh, like, let's go out to this place. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So there's a certain tier of restaurant you're talking about. Somewhere somewhere above Korean place down the street. The second you step into, like, anything above, like, where they're, like, trying to, like, create an environment like the second you step into anything like that i'm like this just feels stupid something feels stupid here long-winded way to self-report yourself for not liking olive garden (laughs) i think (laughs) if if subway is like the reboot what's the olive garden because i haven't had that in like 20 years i've never had it really you like I pasta? feel like I need to. I, I feel like if I died right now, that would be my reason to not get into heaven. And not because God loves it. He just thinks that everyone needs to have tried it. Yeah, it, it's you, like... You it gives check. you a soul. You don't have a soul unless... <laughs> That's why I don't believe! <laughs> yes. Oh, yes! Yes! I haven't had endless soup salad and breadsticks. Once you do that... Your body, like, it ensnares a loose soul in the world. Like, it grabs mm-hmm. it and then attaches it to your corporeal <laughs> being. Yeah. And that's why you don't believe in anything yet is because you don't have a soul. And it's not out of, oh, gingers don't have souls or anything like that. It's because you haven't eaten at the Olive Garden. <laughs> I found myself at the bottom of a bag of breadsticks. <laughs> <laughs> but there is no bottom. Their bottomless baby. <laughs> exactly. And that's what the meaning of life is. And that's when you truly connect to the idea of having a soul and appreciating the beauty in this world. They're, like life is just a, a bunch of warm, lovely, but also salty and kind of gross moments that never stop. Huh? What if, what if they marketed endless breadsticks less as a deal and more as a threat? <laughs> Could you give us a run? Think you could like the Buffalo Wild Wings like, like fire challenge. If they marketed it like that, where it's like how many how many breadsticks can you get through? Eat thirty five hundred breadsticks and you get Olive Garden for life. They're like, oh, I'm stuffed. I just I'll finish off this last one. And just as you're like putting that last bite in, you can barely swallow it. You just hear a plate clink down, and the waitress stares daggers into you and goes, "There's more." No, 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 Tori. They. They throw down the plate and they'll be like, I'd be insulted if you didn't eat the more. Okay? You eat the yeah. more breadsticks. Sorry. Okay? Yes. Yeah. Because everyone who works at an Olive Garden is authentically Italian. Oh, racist. oh. Yes. Oh. And racist. They're Italian and racist. You could do it against Italians. Yeah. Well, uh, no, no, no. They're, they're, well, they're, are, you're, oh, you're saying the Italians are racist against themselves at the Olive Garden. I, I think that's just how Italians are. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why it's okay for us to be racist to Italians, I think. I haven't done the research. It, it just feels correct, you know? It feels something right. <laughs> something sure. in there something in there makes sense. We're not going to, like, dive into it because we're not tackling racism this episode. But tune in next week. <laughs> 
<laughs> something, there's something there. Yeah, it's, uh, come on, eat the more breadstick. Or they just, and they just start shoving it in your gullet. You yeah, don't get like, to leave. Oh, no, I, I couldn't, I couldn't. And then <laughs> no. that's when he gets really close to you. Eat. <laughs> oh, I couldn't, I couldn't. It's a grandpapa's favorite recipe. <laughs> you eat. You eat or you don't leave the olive you garden. You make a grandpa very upset. <laughs> oh, it goes godfather. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they start doing the cheese grainy thing and they're like, tell me when. And you look out of the corner of your eye, there's a mobster that just like flashes a gun. You're just like, uh, <laughs> keep going. <laughs> you ever see Goodfellas, huh? We love that one. We love it because it depicts Italian so good. We love so that one. <laughs> we fucking love that one. But seriously, if you don't eat that whole plate of breadsticks, I'm going to fucking off you, Okay. Um, <clears throat> I got, I got one more here. Um, and it's, I look again, maybe <laughs> controversial. I love dogs. There is absolutely no need to bring your dog into a restaurant or a movie theater, which is now things being offered. Like restaurant there is absolutely makes sense. Movie mm -hmm. theater. The more I think about it also makes perfect sense why your does dog your dog barks, even want to be there like there's no way if my dog, dog okay to be fair my dog really wanted to see poor things <laughs> well that's because loves Emma a Stone. connoisseur of film yeah that's true i i have a real cinephile it's fucking <laughs> annoying she keeps trying to send me her letterbox and i'm like shut the fuck shut up the, oh my god i'm not gonna follow your lists Jesus. oh oh Oh, I wouldn't get a lot of your taste because they're foreign. Shut up. The one, time <laughs> you, the one time you threw on a Marvel movie just for background noise, she threw up on the carpet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. I think Spider-Man is kind of like a charming character. God forbid I see one of the Marvel films. She's just like, ugh. And then anyway. she's also racist too. So since it was Miles Morales, she got real pissed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she is not. She like She looks at your four favorites and she's like, oh, two... Two Nolans on there, huh? Really? Wow. Mm. Okay. Not that. It's kind of mm. kind of the poor man's idea of a good movie, but it's a whatever. stupid person's idea of an intelligent movie. But no, you know, hey, I'm glad whatever. you have fun with it. At like outside places, yeah, I get it. Like like the brewery places that are like making it more dog friendly, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like I'm talking like things where that are marketed like bring your dog here. Like it does like. I get, I don't have to go to those because my dog's dead, but like, what, <laughs> what, like, well, I can't imagine your dog wants to sit for the full three hour and 30 minute runtime of Killers of the Flower Moon. Yeah, There's like, no fucking way. Like, why would you, like, at a certain is, do point. Do they pause the movie halfway through for potty breaks? Yeah, like, what are you that's, doing? That's one of the things, right? Like, the, the places where dogs are okay to be are things that where shit happens yeah like outdoor outdoor things they're loud you can like get up whenever you need to go somewhere that's things dogs do movie? i have i've no. never watched a movie at home where my dog did not ding the bell to go outside at the most climactic moment <laughs> yeah yeah but i'm just saying like there's i feel like there's a, a concerning trend of like i get i get loving your dog but it reaches a threshold where people treat it too much like an actual human mm -hmm. that has the same thoughts and desires of going to the McDonald's with you or something where it's like, I don't think, I don't think your dog needs to be everywhere with you. You know, like there reaches a, a, a point where I'm just like, does your service dogs included? You have the little stick thing. You can exactly. Navigate. You um. can fucking get through it. Like, oh, I don't know if the street is safe to cross or not. Maybe, hey, hey, instead of a, instead of a seeing eye dog, reverse that around a little bit. Seeing eye God. Maybe find God. Maybe <laughs> he'll let you cross that road, okay? Maybe he'll guide you. Maybe he, in his infinite wisdom, will allow you to cross the street, okay? And if you get hit by a bus, that's just God's plan. <laughs> that's God's plan. You weren't supposed to make it across the street, okay? <laughs> Why don't you have a little faith? I am slowly going to convert this podcast <laughs> into, like, into like a very angry religious podcast. Yeah, no, please, please let this podcast get hit by a bus.
And thank you so much for listening. Go ahead and leave a like, favorite, comment, and or review. Really helps us out. Gets us into curated lists. Um, helps us beat that algorithm. And hey, if you want to join in the discourse, you can join our Discord. And you can find that information in the description of your wherever you're listening to this episode. You can also go to YouTube. You know, actually, let me rephrase that. Don't go to YouTube.com slash Shapeless Media because Whoa. you're going to go there and then you're going to be like, oh, look, look at all the Skyrim videos. And we don't do those anymore, okay? <laughs> and so I don't want you to like them. And then so, be like, oh, this channel really fell off. Yeah, we well, did. <laughs> until Tori starts playing every GameCube game that's ever existed. That's the next oh, segment. As Tori plays every, literally that's every not, GameCube game. There's a lot of stinkers. There are. That has ever existed. And he, he has to beat all of them. I mean, Fuck, we still- is there any Sonic games on there? What do you mean, Tori? That's what, that's what we played Sonic Adventure 2 on was the GameCube. Fuck. So we have the whole like evil story to go through and then the final story. There, hey, Tori, I don't want to scare you, but there's a lot of Sonic games on GameCube. There are. Oh, fuck. And hey, not, not any of them really any good. I'm actually more scared about Monkey Ball because I physically can't do it. I'm just so bad at it. It's because you don't have a soul yet. And it's like <laughs> once you, you can soul. do Monkey Ball once you have a soul, then it, <laughs> then it clicks. God instills the power of monkey ball. And you're like, I do want to get those bananas. I love this shit. These Dole branded bananas. That's still crazy. <laughs> it's so choice that like, I feel like that's one of the only product placements that I'm like, hell yeah. About, crazy. You know? What if, crazy what if product the placement. villain in monkey ball, like the big bad was named Chiquita. <laughs> the Chiquita, Whoa. like a big Chiquita banana that you have to kill. That's ours. TM, 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 TM. <clears throat> Anyway, we've reached the final point in the show where you can just throw out a baseless claim. It, just, it doesn't matter. You can say whatever you want. It's true. It's false. It doesn't matter. We'll interpret it as true because it's in a podcast, which means we have an amount of authority that makes sense. And my baseless claim is that, like, wouldn't it be so sick if you could have sex, but, they, like, there wasn't a woman involved? Um. Like, that would be choice you know yeah. like sex is pretty good but if you could do that without a woman there that would be crazy like i'm so waiting are for you that still, are you still are you still looking for like doing it with another being if there was like if there was like a dude there that would like if that was possible that would be sick you're describing gay sex no what <laughs>